If you're like me, when you read something particularly good or interesting, you want to share it with others, which is why I'm launching a new, irregular series called Recommended Reading. For my first recommendation, I'd like to present Nijikahara Holograph by Neo Asano. For those unfamiliar with Neo Asano's work, the author is, at least in my opinion, a standout in terms of approach and narrative style. His work covers a wide variety of themes, from slice of life to surrealism to psychological horror, but it's Asano's unique flourishes that set his work apart from his peers. Nijigahara Holograph is no exception, and left me with an indelible impression even after my first read-through. Told in non-linear fashion, the manga explores the intersecting lives of the group of classmates, teachers, and families, and the way in which a single individual, and their connection to her, alters their lives permanently. The cast is a motley crew of the profoundly average. Each is effectively a stereotype that we would normally associate with the slice-of-life manga. The school children, teachers, the bullies and bullied, the shop owners, the bosses, and employees. But the series quickly begins to drill down into the psychology of this ensemble to reveal a much more twisted collection of individuals. As each grapples with their pasts and unresolved problems, we watch as one persona gives way to another and are witness to how these clashing psychologies threaten to destroy their lives and quite possibly the world. Without giving too much away, Nijigahara Holograph covers a wide array of subjects in a short space, but handles these by neatly weaving them into the narrative psychological deconstructions. Solemn ruminations on death, God, existence, grief, closure, and the painful transition to adulthood are front and center as the lost do some form of introspection and examine how they arrived at this position while attempting to deal with their past as it catches up with them nearly a decade later. Asano sets up a subtle but impressive architecture that articulates a haunting bleakness to existence and an oppressive gravity in the mundane. We are constantly shown that the real world is often a cover for the horrors hidden just beneath, horrors that seem desperate to break free and run unconstrained. When the characters allow their masks to slip, they reveal a shocking but dispassionate cruelty which mirrors the seemingly indifferent world around them. The damaged in turn do damage, and perpetuate the cycle. The artwork itself is enjoyable and thematically appropriate. The characters are drawn in a way that strays from what we might consider the standard, with a subtle skewing of beauty to outright ugliness, enhancing the realistic tone, but the interesting development is in seeing their evolution over the 10 year period. The adults and children are modeled in a way that is recognizable across the timelines, which makes the experience feel more unified. The halftone landscapes are well detailed, and while there's a bit of mixed media integration, the use of photos is minimal and doesn't detract from the overall composition. Now this work is for mature audiences, and deals with some seriously dark subject matter. Violence, suicide, murder, rape, pedophilia, child abuse, and disfigurement are all plot points and are underpinnings to many of the characters' struggles. In fact, my only real gripe is that in some places, a few of the depictions are somewhat gratuitous. They're meant to leave us uncomfortable, and they certainly do, but I personally could have done without one or two of the panels. It's strange because Asano demonstrates a talent for depicting the sinister in subtle but equally impactful ways, making these scenes feel not only incongruous, but altogether unnecessary and done simply for shock, which in my view undermines the artistry and distracts from the poignancy of the moment. Despite this, Nijigahara Holograph is easily one of my favorite mangas I've read this year, and I would definitely recommend it to those of you who find yourself looking for a story you can reread and spend some serious time pouring over. Now obviously the diligent will find the scanlations available through various outlets, but for those looking to make a purchase, the story is a one-shot, and with the hardcover can seem a little pricey. I received mine as a birthday gift so it didn't set me back, but you may want to wait for a sale to offset the $30 price tag. For internet shoppers, it's been consistently available through Amazon for around $20. Alternatively, it is available through Kindle for $9, and with a Comixology Unlimited subscription, it's free. And, if you find yourself interested in making a purchase through Amazon, you can support this channel by clicking on the Amazon affiliate link included in the description. Okay, shameless plug out of the way. For those of you who do get a chance to read or have read, I'm curious to know what you think and if you've had a chance to read any of Inio Asano's other work. Feel free to leave comments below with any of your thoughts as well as your own recommendations. As always, thanks for watching and your support, and I hope to bring you another recommendation sometime soon.